We've all been victims and perpetrators at different times in our lives. People often focus on the victim, but what about the perpetrators? Do they ever find redemption? This is a story about perpetrators. The opening scene introduces Margaret, who is arranging her husband's 50th birthday celebration with a woman named Priscilla, while their son, Philip, sketches a family portrait. When Philip includes someone named Gus in his drawing, Margaret suddenly departs. It seems Margaret is grappling with post-traumatic stress disorder, seeking to erase memories of Gus. In the subsequent scene, we learn that Margaret has a clandestine apartment in Hong Kong, possibly as a means to evade the relentless memories haunting her at home. Margaret invites a neighbor, Hillary, to her husband Clark's birthday party, but Hillary initially declines due to issues with Margaret's family. Later, she reluctantly attends with her husband, David, whose marriage to Hillary is deteriorating, as evident from their argument in a taxi. Mercy, a waitress, is having a sexual relationship with David. All three women attend Clark's party, but Margaret becomes aggressive upon seeing Mercy working as a waitress. Despite this, Hillary comforts Margaret. Margaret asks Hillary to go to the market and retrospect, hinting at a deeper connection between them. To understand what's happening, we need to move into the next episode. Exactly a year ago, Margaret was a landscape designer married to Clark, who received a promotion to Hong Kong. They both relocated to Hong Kong with their three children, Daisy, Philip, and Gus. They hired a servant named Essie, who became close to the children, causing Margaret to feel displaced from her role as a mother, we see a scene in which Margaret and Hillary discuss the importance of setting boundaries with servants. Hillary also has a servant named Pori. Meanwhile, Mercy, an educated student who relocated to Hong Kong from the States, finds herself amidst the bustling city's social scene. In the subsequent scene, a boat party unfolds, providing Mercy with an opportunity to share her past with her friends, recounting how she was labeled as cursed during her childhood. However, feeling ignored as her story falls on deaf ears, she impulsively jumps from the boat. Later, she returns, but not before catching the eye of Margaret for the first time. As they become acquainted, Margaret extends an invitation for a meeting, prompting them to schedule it promptly. Sensing a need for distance between her children and the family servant, Essie, Margaret opts to keep Essie confined within the house during their meeting. They go to a busy market, and Mercy agrees to take care of Gus. But suddenly, Gus vanishes into thin air, saddening both Mercy and Margaret. In the next scene, David comes to Mercy and takes her out. Clark and Margaret see this, possibly causing their friendship to strain, as seen in the elevator. Subsequently, David starts a sexual relationship with Mercy. Back to present Marge Rat is taken out of the market by Hillary. Days pass without any sign of Gus. Margaret's long baths inside her secret apartment indicate the extent to which she yearns to erase her memories. In another scene, Hillary reveals she never wanted a baby, but as David suddenly wants kids, she starts taking pills without informing him. David thinks he can't have babies because of his fault, so he tries with mercy without protection. Soon, Mercy gets pregnant. However, Mercy still has flashbacks about being a perpetrator for Gus. David explains to her how his twin brother got paralyzed because of him. Mercy loses her job after someone complains about stealing money. Hillary, after learning about David's affair, divorces him. She visits her father in India before his surgery and reminds him of his past and domestic violence against her mom. Her father dies during surgery, and she thinks she became a perpetrator after those harsh words. She meets David again, and their relationship ends in calm. After Gus's body is found, Clark's family returns to the States, considering the condition of other children. But Margaret decides to stay in Hong Kong. Mercy meets Margaret and Hillary and apologizes. They forgive her and Hillary honestly admits that she filed a fake case against Mercy which caused Mercy to lose her job. Mercy decides to stay with her mother during her pregnancy. In the end, forgiveness prevailed as Mercy, Margaret, 
and Hillary came together to heal old wounds and embrace the future with newfound hope. Though their paths diverged, each woman embarked on a journey of self-discovery, determined to find happiness on their own terms.